Hi everybody. I wanted to show you how to take a look at our classroom together. Um, the guiding document for biology this semester will be Google Classroom. So you'll need to have your student log on with you and then you're going to want to write down their password and then let them know that when they change their password, they've got to let you know. So I'm just going to go up to classroom. Uh, that happens to be bookmarked on all of our school issued devices. Um, and this is a set of my classes. Your student will go into their um, biology class, which is either period two, three, or four. And we're going to go right into the first one. And when you open it up, you'll see our Google stream. There's very rarely going to be anything on the stream from me. Um, I'll attach um, general school items like our heads up or request for feedback throughout for our yearbook. But most of what you're going to want to look at and what your students are being asked to look at every single day is going to be in the classwork stream. So when you go to classwork, yours are going to look very similar to mine. I will show you what an individual student's work looks like, but we are in week three of this semester already. And so the way that this is organized is the most recent unit is at the top and at the top every single day is the agenda. So today's week, day one of the third week, if you pop this open, you'll actually see an attached agenda for today. It's actually for every day so far. We will keep all the agendas for unit one together. And then when we go to the next unit, I will link them and we'll start with the unit two agenda. Um, so when you open these up, this is what students see when they walk into the classroom on uh, any given day. Today, we looked at some patterns that we were trying to find last week. We applied these patterns to some experiments. And then today we needed to create or start working up our physical experiment. And they're going to experiment on worms tomorrow. So this also tells them what their homework is going to be, and it has links to any supporting documents. It additionally has a copy of the school bulletin, which gets updated every day. So this is really paramount to help students understand, what did I do in biology class? What am I supposed to do for homework? It's going to be written right out there. Additionally, you will see that most, not all, but most homework assignments are linked in Google Classroom. If I can possibly have students do this and submit it electronically, then that's what's going to happen. However, we are using notebooks this semester. We're going to get our heads out of the computers a little bit more than we have in the last few years, the year and a half. Um, and so we're going to have a notebook that I'd like you to look at. Before I show you that notebook, I do want to give you a heads up as to what your students can do and what you can look at when you go look specifically to see if your student's been turning in their work. You will look at their work tab. Again, these look a little different because this is the teacher view. But we're going to go find my make-believe student. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go down to a young person with my last name. So here's our make-believe person and it looks like this child has not done any of their work which is a good thing they're making. So there was an introducing me assignment. When you click it, you can actually see if anything's attached. And there is a comment there for me that says no work has been attached. So checking in, that was a task. You may have to actually open it up to view the details to see a little bit more information there. But this student didn't do that either. The syllabus with the adults. Again, this is where I asked your student to actually uh, take a picture of themselves sharing the syllabus with you and submit that. And so you can go through these assignments fairly quickly, just looking one step at a time at what your student has been turning in, and you're looking for the red things. Additionally, each week we'll update the um, uh, home link or ARIES, and that will be uh, something that you'll want to also keep an eyeball on. But email, have your student email me, or please feel free to email me if there are things that just don't look right. Um, I would like very much for your students to advocate for themselves. If something looks askew, I make mistakes all the time, and I'd be happy to fix them. However, if there's just some head scratching information in here, then send me a note, and I'll be happy to go over it with you. Thank you.